Under a new partnership at COCC in Redmond, these students behind me from Redmond Proficiency Academy are putting the pieces in place for a good cause in their community. Every day we come in and we like build, start building and everything. I'm excited to see how it looks. We've almost are done with it and it's been a fun program and getting to work with all these people. Just getting to learn how to do more construction and stuff to you know prepare you for life and say like future jobs if I was interested in construction after high school this will prepare me for that. The pieces they're drilling and gluing into place will be headed here Oasis Village, a low barrier transitional shelter. Most of our participants are over the age of 60, not all of them. So one really cool component I think is young people giving back to that older generation and ensuring um, that they have warm beds at night I think is really cool. The village opened in January and has 15 shelters. This one built by RPA is part of a plan to add four more. Oasis hopes they can be operational before the end of the summer. Doing something that requires skill and you're giving it to uh, other folks, I think that's going to be important for your just your psyche as you get older. The finished product from these students will be placed on one of these slabs. It means a lot because we have had an issue with like, you know, homeless people like not having places to live and I think it's a, it's a great idea for the Oasis Village to be building it. It's a great idea for them to be having students build it because then it helps them, it teaches the students more about what to do like in life when it comes to causes like that and it just, yeah, it helps a lot. Peyton Thomas, Central Oregon Daily News.